Thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. uh, productive day today, uh, a day where we really wanted to, uh, to emphasize uh, pressuring a quarterback on, on a third down situation. Uh, as we evolve into that aspect of the game, was fortunate got Marcus Davenport out here today, had a couple of get offs for us, and oh boy, do we wish we had him. <laughs> he looked great. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the team uh, is conscientious of, of what's at stake, and that is uh, ramification for uh, conference qualifications at the back end of this season. Uh, and so, we're we're approaching it accordingly. It is the most important game because it's our next game naturally uh, against uh, this team that we we seek to to play our very best against. Uh, I thought we had a good day offensively in uh, third and medium, uh, third and long, uh, and hopefully we're not in extra long. But certainly you prepare for those situations as well. Uh, a great day of, of ball security and takeaway, both offense and defense respectively. What was the reception like for uh, for Marcus out here? guys and stuff. Oh, great. Nice yeah, yeah. Nice I, yeah, I think he got in. Uh, he must have gotten in last night because uh, Larry Stevens and all those guys kind of, oh, you know, he told me. He uh, he went to see the guys and it was like, we got to go to bed. We have practice in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and of course, they don't practice early a.m. in the National Football League. So he was like, yeah, I remember those day, those days. So yeah, he got a chance to go see the guys and, you know, his, his, his humility and graciousness is who he is. And uh, doesn't, you know, he doesn't want the big fanfare deal. He just wants to be one of the guys. But uh, it was good to see him. And uh, the reception is always warm. He's one of us. Uh, it'll be good to have he and uh, so many of the other former uh, players. Uh, we invited the original 18 and everyone that's ever played football for us, laced them up uh, to be uh, acknowledged uh, at this game. Coach, uh Number 23 for Louisiana Tech, uh, Jaquise uh, Dancy, their, their, lead, their leading uh, rusher, Russia. has not played, I'm not red, has not played in each of the last two weeks. Do yeah. you, but he's uh, kind of getting healthy. Do you expect yeah. to see him yeah. out there? Yeah, yeah, he's played. He's played in minimal. He didn't start. Okay. Yeah, they started the big boy, uh, uh, Cameron McKnight, uh, but he, he played sparingly, and uh, we anticipate seeing him. He's a, he's a quality back, a shifty back. Uh, and we do anticipate him playing. What concerns you, uh, Coach, about, about Louisiana Tech? What, what jumps out at you? Look at? Yeah, their, their, their passing game from an offensive standpoint, uh, you know, they have uh, three, four guys that at one point have had a 100-plus yard game receiving, so all capable, not necessarily at the same time, but uh, each one of them have big playability uh, to be able to affect the game, whether it's Teddy Veal, uh, down low, uh, underneath, and in quick game, intermediate stuff, or some of their other receivers that uh, take the top off and the vertical threat guys. So um, certainly you're concerned about that, their ability to, to throw and catch. Uh, it's uh, just reflecting on a year ago, 13-6, um, with less than five minutes, or I think it's two minutes left in a game, uh, and I thought we did a good job of defending uh, the run and pass and uh, allowed it to escape from us. So hopefully this year we could rectify uh, those things and, and find a way to win this game. Coach, how's Cordell look this week? Look good. Having a good week of practice, uh, in tune, uh, very attentive to, uh, to our opponent and the things that will be necessary for us. I see the, the, the conference race and the division race pretty Pretty scramble, pretty wide open, right? I guess. Yeah. Well, you know, it's 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 so early. We're we're yeah. two weeks, three weeks into it. A lot of shake out. Teams that are undefeated is going to face the other team that's undefeated at one point or one loss teams. Uh, but it's the it's it's the parity of uh, or equality of our, of our conference. I think it's a very uh, evenly dispersed talent coach uh, conference. That's quality from top to bottom. So any week, anything can happen with any team. Did you think of Clayton and, and Andy are, uh, are ready to go? They practice today, um, and so to uh, to follow up with, with our medical staff, I feel better about them today than I did on Sunday or even uh, yesterday. So uh, more optimistic now than questionable. I've seen uh, uh, you know, uh, number 25 uh, for the Roadrunners has been working hard. I know yeah. he, hadn't, he hadn't played yeah. yet this year. But he's out here running. He's really, he's really into it. Do you expect him back this year? Coach, I do you have don't, any idea? I don't. He, don't? Uh, yeah, it's just he's um, – you know, the body has to heal uh, in, in a certain time. And per our doctors, 
he's ahead of schedule in recovery. He's very intense in his rehabilitation, but uh, he still needs the adequate time, and we're respectful of that. And his health is what's most important. Uh, but he thought he was ready to go. He and Frank Harris a week after surgery, so uh, we need some time. Frank was ready to go, right? Yeah, yeah, they both. They I just see, man, I see, every time I see him out here, he's yeah. running wind sprints up and down. Out yeah, he, uh, he's accelerated his recovery. What so. about Greg Campbell? Hopeful. Greg is, uh, is hopeful. We anticipate him being, uh, he just bumped and bruised. There's, there's nothing surgically needed with him. Uh, his body is just, uh, has taken a beating over the last several weeks and uh, we're conscientious of that and trying to get him healthy and as uh, best prepared as possible. Well, every team, uh, you know, after six games, every team is yeah. sort of in their shape, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, you've been going straight from fall camp, you know, so not just uh, that month plus uh, the six weeks straight. So uh, our, our, our uh, bye week will come at a much uh, needed time. Yeah, I, you know, you, you play, uh, eight games in a row at the start of the season. It really is, uh, I mean, that's, have you ever, have you ever done that in, in any other seasons? Uh, not sure, not come sure. Out of summer, come out of fall camp and then yeah. go eight in a row? Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's no, well, November is what they remember. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so if we could be our, at our best during that time with the bye week that allows us to finish is, uh, is something we embrace. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.